Hey, what's up guys, Lesh Majid from TechRaman and in this video, I am going to talk about a wireless drive and this one is from Kingston and this is the Kingston Wireless Mobile Light G3. So, in this video, we are going to talk about first, why do we need a wireless drive and what Kingston G3 can offer in this space. So these days uh, we use smartphones and tablets increasingly for media consumption and smartphones have also replaced the point and shoot cameras and we take a lot of photos in the smartphones. So we always are in a need to transfer the photos to an external drive as a backup option and we also because of the limited storage in the smartphones access a lot of video content and or say music from your drive to your smartphones. Wireless drive simplifies life and that's what Kingston G3 promises. But just not just backup option or storage option, it also does a little more thing. So that we'll cover in this video. And to start with, <coughs> Kingston G3 is available in two variants. This is the Kingston G3 and then there is also a Pro version. So the difference being that the Pro version has a built-in storage of 64 GB and also gets a beefier uh, battery like 6700 mAh in Pro versus the 5400 mAh battery in this variant. So that's the difference with the G3 as well as the G3 Pro. Out of the box, you get the G3 device, a micro SD card adapter, a USB to micro USB cable and a quick start guide. Now let's talk about the design. G3 is compact and measures 24 mm and weighs 192 grams. The top has a glossy finish while the sides and bottom have a matte finish. The bottom has a very tiny footings. The front side houses the power button with a recessed reset button to its right. A micro USB port is located at the other end. Above is a subtle branding in grey color. On the right side, we find the SD card slot and a USB port. The USB port is a standard USB 2.0 port, while the SD card slot will accept SD card and micro SD cards up to XD XC standard. An Ethernet port is placed at the left side. On the top face, you find three LED indicators. The light indicates the presence of an internet connection, Wi-Fi signal and power. The battery indicators give you an idea about the power remaining in the device. Green indicates 51% to 100%, orange indicates 25 to 50% and the red indicates less than 25% of battery charge remaining. To set up this G3 drive, you need to install the app first on your smartphone or the tablet. The app is available for both Android as well as iOS. So I am using an Android phone, so let me talk about the Android version here, but it will be similar with the iOS. When you go into the Google Play Store, you find two Kingston Mobile Light app. Choose the one which mentions Mobile Light Wireless and it has a red icon image. So once you install, now go to the network settings, go to the Wi-Fi and you will find two network settings with the MLW which is for the mobile light wireless. So there are two bands which is for 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz. Choose one, choose one of each. Now when you open the app, it auto connects to the MLW network and now you can see the wireless G3 with the phone and since the G3 Unlike the G3 Pro doesn't have an inbuilt storage, you need to connect an external uh, storage device to the G3 to wirelessly access or on the smartphone. Now, what are the use case of G3? So, mobile G3 can be used as a backup or storage expansion. So, the phone these days comes with a limited storage. So, you have a lot of files stored in your laptop or say the external drives and you access them to and fro from the smartphone to the external device. So instead of using a wire to access, what you already can do is you can wirelessly access the storage devices through the G3 and, or, and also you can use it to back up your phone contents to the storage. So you take a lot of, I take a lot of photos so I can dump easily the photos into the storage device. And there is also a one click button in the app which helps you to dump all the contents from the phone to the device storage medium. And it access SD card, you can use pen drives and you can use your external hard drive. So I tried my WD, my passport, one terabyte hard drive and it works well. So I could access the files from the 
external hard drive i could copy i could transfer so it was working seamlessly well so you can use the mobile at g3 for streaming content so you can access the files from the uh, external drives connected to the g3 and you can stream it to other connected devices wirelessly so this is how it worked practically for me so when i connected my uh, wd my passport 1 terabyte 1 terabyte hard drive has the videos struggle when i stream so a lot of buffering happening but if you are using a pen drive or a sd card it works relatively better so photos well it's easy to access from the hard drive or any of your storage media on the phone so it's like a mix it up deal so if you are planning to stream directly hd videos it may not be the ideal choice g3 as a power bank so the g3 comes with the inbuilt battery so the there is a 5400 mah in this g3 and there is a bigger 6700 mah in the pro version so this can be used as a power bank in emergency i would not suggest this as your primary power bank because the output is slow low so even though they claim a 2 amp power output when i tested with my kit it shows around uh, 0.5 amps which is low but when your primary device is not reachable you are not carrying it and you want for a power you want to tank your smartphones in the emergency this comes handy so this is a emergency power backup mobile at g3 to set up a hotspot so there is a access point here which is the ethernet port so if you have a lan cable either internet cable you can connect to this and you can set up a hotspot you can use this g3 as an access point and distribute the internet to multiple devices mobile at g3 as a wifi extender so you have a area in your home or office which has a poor wifi uh, signal you can use this as a extender so you can it can act as a wifi bridge between your existing uh, wifi and to your smartphone finally g3 as a sd card reader so you have a sd card reader here so this can be used as a sd card reader for your various cards what's my thoughts on this g3 and uh, setting up is easy uh, the app the app works really well you can access copy paste transfer files everything can be done easily i take a lot of uh, photos i transfer a lot of contents from my devices to the external hard drives on my hard drive so this came really well for me for backing backing up my contents and also for transferring contents to and fro wirelessly so that comes really great as a streaming i may not be using it much because my, most of the videos i have is the hd content and hd content buffers a lot uh, especially when uh, i store it in my external drive has additional benefits like it can work as a access point and then there is a hotspot and it can be also used as a emergency power bank so these are the add-ons so overall uh, do you need this g3 uh, that's quite tricky it's not a really must have device so if you are looking at simplifying your life tech life a little by wirelessly backing up accessing contents this could be a good device So that's about the mobile light G3 from Kingston. Hope in this video give us a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more such videos. This is Lashmajan signing off for Techraman. Have a great day. Cheers.